welcome back to Linda's Prepper Kitchen. Today I have a um, haul for y'all. This is from my local Dollar Tree. Well, actually it's not my local. It's a Dollar Tree a town over. Um, but immediately upon getting out and getting ready to go in the store, there's a sign on the door um, that says um, due to, well, let me just show you the sign. I'll leave it here. Okay, as you can see, due to the supply issues, um, there is a shortage on helium. So let me know, are you seeing a shortage in your area? Um, or is it just, maybe just mine? So these are some things for my preps, and um, let's just go ahead and jump on into it. Um, I picked up some of this Chappie's Lip Balm. Um, in the blistering sun or the blistering cold weather, um, we need some chapstick for our lips. Uh, for some reason, this just keeps slipping my mind. So I did see it. I picked it up and grabbed it. This is going right into my preps. Also, Bellina's um, Baby Red Sweet, not baby, Red Sweet Pepper Strips. Um, this is the Pimento Rojos. Um, yeah, so um, these are going to be great. These are going to be good to have for many recipes. Um, $1.25, I felt like that was okay. Also, I picked up, because I need to clean my bathroom, <laughs> uh, the home store, heavy foam shower cleaner. Um, uh, almost like, I guess, scrubbing bubbles, I would say. So I picked that up. Also over here, I uh, picked up the bonus size. Um, this is totally awesome. I hear this stuff is amazing. Um, this is an all-purpose degreaser and spot remover. Um, yeah, I had tried a bottle of this and I love it. So I picked up another one. Um, so yeah, that's a good buy for $1.25. And I picked up one of these little swabs. This is the 1.2 ounce bottle of swab. This I'm going to use for my um, trip in September. I saw it and I thought, well, let me go ahead and grab that. So I did. Little by little, getting prepared for that. That's what it is. You prepare for everything, not just... A catastrophe you can plan ahead for events as well all right y'all I have a clip I want to show you I'm going to insert it right here so I guess you saw that we are paying a quarter more for um, three ounces less for this VO5 um, conditioner. And both brands, both sizes say it's a bonus size 20% more. That's a joke, y'all. It's a joke. And here it says verse 15 ounces. I don't have to go back and look at that clip myself. I want to see if it says that on there, what it says on there. But anyway, yeah, we're not getting more. We're not getting any more. We're getting less. So, yeah, I just found that interesting. I wanted to share that with you. Y'all, that's going on everywhere, not just at, at Dollar Tree or um, um, it's going on at Walmart. It's going on everywhere, everywhere. They are trying to pull the wool over our eyes or something. But anyway, so, yep, yeah, so I want to show you that. So, I also picked up, and I did get two of the 18-ounce bottles. They did have an 18-ounce bottle of this volumizing shampoo from the VO5. Um, so I did pick that one up as well, and I only got one of those. They have the 30 count, 30 pack unscented tea light candles, y'all. Um, I did pick up one of these. Um, these. These burn up pretty quickly, but these are used in so many different ways. So if you can get your hands on some tea light candles, I would add those to your candle stockpile. Of course, you want to get some bigger ones that last longer, but those are good to put under fondue pots, um, just other things. Um, so, yeah, so put that in your prepper pantry as well. If y'all remember back, I was prepping these um, Fisher-Price baby wipes, y'all, in a situation. And the way things are looking with fuel, electric, and heat, and all the things, prepare for no water as well. I have not in, no insight saying we're not having water. I'm not saying that. But you never know. So you need to prepare. That's why we prep water. And that's why you need to be prepping some baby wipes. That way you can clean up a bit in a situation. Water's precious and you're going to need that for drinking and cooking. So you can use these just to kind of freshen up. And if I believe they're the same, and they are, it's 72 wipes for $1.25. And I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, there are a couple of things left in the Dollar Tree. They're still um, a good deal. All right, back here, I got some new 
It says new look. It's the totally awesome Bang bathroom and shower cleaner. Um, again, for my bathrooms. And also, I got some tub and clutch shower cleaner here was for my bathroom. I picked up another one of these um, kitchen fixin' authentic wonton strips um, to go in salads and soups and things like that. And y'all, um, you're going to need to have some kind of blade like this uh, for many, many things. You definitely need to want to have this in your prepper pantry. So I saw this for $1.25 and it comes with five blades. That was a really good deal, y'all. Um, so I picked up one of those. That's going to be on my radar for a little bit every time I go into the Dollar Tree. So, or if I'm out and about. Also, I don't know if you remember the last jar of these I hauled. It was double the size. I don't know what the ounces were then, but the jar itself was twice as big. Um, but these are the Papa Pampa Mushrooms. Um, this is a 4.5 ounces. If you give me two seconds, I'm going to pause you. I'm going to run back and get the other jar and let's see what the difference is. All right. I'm sorry, guys. I must have already used it. So, yeah, this one is 4.5 ounces. The other jar was um, real similar to the size of this jar. This jar is a 10 ounce, 10.2 uh, ounces. So, yeah. Also, while I was out and... Um, I also picked up these um, tool bench hardware uh, winder included. It says, uh, this is the paracord. This is going to be great, y'all, if you need to make a clothesline. If you need to tie these up, you could throw a tarp over it uh, to make some kind of shelter. These paracords are just great for so many things. So you try to make sure you have quite a few of these on hand. Um, what is the length of these? Let's see. These are... 25 foot long so yeah um, I would I recommend you have at least four or five or six or so of these on hand so and a dollar 25 I feel like that's a pretty decent price and last but not least I picked up another pair of these extreme heat um, socks these are for the winter that's coming up last winter I was able to get a couple of these um, you never know um, we need to keep our feet warm um, yeah, if your feet are cold, your whole body's cold. So I did pick up another one of these. That is all I picked up. Um, but for me, um, my trip to the Dollar um, Tree, or should I say Dollar Plus store, um, I don't know. In the food section, I really struggled. Y'all, I did notice that they had no black pepper, none. Um, they had no Himalayan salt in the bags. The only Himalayan salt they had was in a little bitty round, about this bigger round, um, bottle like in the spices. Um, that was it. I don't know if it's um, something that's going to be no more at the Dollar Plus store or what, but um, they didn't have that. I really have, I really struggle with buying food there because the majority of that food is cheaper at Walmart. So, yeah, I think the most reasons for uh, it, only a few things are going to really pull me back into that store i think they're really trying to compete i don't know if y'all have what's called the buy below store in your area where everything in the store is five dollars or below um but it really looks like the dollar tree is leaning in that direction to me so yeah if i go back in there it's going to be mostly for things like paracord mm -hmm. cleaners and some cleaners like the um are even three dollars in there now so i don't know if that's even worth it either they do have some some good deals still in there i will frequent it just not as often as i used to so y'all i hope this this sparks some memories uh, for you oh i need this or i need that or um gives you some insight what's going on still with the shrinkflation so if you really pay attention you'll be able to get um, the bigger bottles while you're in there. So, uh, of different things. I guess while they're trying to sell those out. All right, y'all. Um, please leave me any tips and tricks you do have down below. Any insight, knowledge you might have on things going on today. Um, please, if you've been coming around and have not hit that subscribe button, please consider doing so. And if you did not get a notification for this and you are subscribed to me, please go back, check your subscription, and make sure that you have tapped that notification bell. All right, y'all. I love you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up. Y'all keep on keeping on, and I'll see you next time back at Linda's Prepper Kitchen. Bye, everyone.